going to make Barnes & Noble's research, research material. I'm going to click on Confirm. That rules should have popped up. Let me uh, uncheck it and check it again. Let's see why that rules is not popping up. Let's try one more time. Okay, there's the pop-up. Now, what I'm going to do is show you one thing. Notice that there are two Barnes & Noble's left in there. So before I completely um, uh, categorize the, the, the last two, I'm actually going to click on this box that says, that says Auto Confirm and show you the workflow in the Auto Confirm is a lot different. When I click on com Create Rule, I will no longer see any Barnes & Nobles ever. I am never going to ever see, or well, never say never, but for the most part, I shouldn't be seeing a Barnes & Nobles uh, transaction in there because everything is basically being automatically categorized. Let's do another example. I'm going to remove the missing payee customer. And let's take a look at uh, another one that occupies a lot of space right here. So we got BP, one, two, three, four, five, six BPs. So I'm going to take one BP, categorize it to car and truck fuel. So the sub account, car and truck fuel. Click on confirm. Okay, for some reason the rule didn't come up. Let's do one more. Click on confirm. Okay, there's the rule. I'm going to do auto confirm again, auto confirm. Click on create rule. And then you will notice that after I did that, there's no more BPs in there. BPs disappeared. Now, this by disappear, I mean they get automatically added into the register. Let's just confirm that. Let's go into reports. So we're going to go into reports. We're going to go into the profit and loss. And then we'll click down here uh, into total expenses. So we get all the expenses for the year. And then I'm going to group by vendor. So I'm going to group by vendor and click on run. This is why creating vendors is so awesome and useful. And then you're going to see BP down here. There is seven BP transactions. So they get, get, they got automatically pushed into the register uh, without me having to click on confirm. Now, when this first came out, probably about two and a half years ago, Accountants, my friends, they were completely freaking out about this, and they thought that this was going to be the, the the destruction of people's bookkeepings, where things are being done automatically. And um, it is true, some some end users will irresponsible create rules that make no sense and create a bunch of mess. But for avid advanced users like us, we can really control these things. You know, we don't need to hit confirm on every single every single. Starbucks on every single Office Depot, we're 95% sure, 99% sure what categories those are. Some are more tricky and some requires for you to look at the receipt and ask and understand the context on you know who the client is and the vendor. But for the most part, a lot of these things are always going to be the same category. Now, one thing that is really, really neat is that when you click on the categorize button here, you can actually see the difference between a um, automatically uh, entered transaction and a transaction that was confirmed manually. Now, categorized are all the transactions that were downloaded into QuickBooks through banking. It could have happened in three ways. One, we clicked on confirm, okay, uh, or, or we categorized it on the fly, and those are going to have a blank line where it says rule. The second one, it's actually going to say rule. You have the little rule uh, tag in there. And it's letting you know whether it's a rule that you created uh, by hand. Um, also, if it was a suggested rule, it's, it's letting you know that this rule was created through the suggestion workflow because someone didn't go back in there and change the name. So it's not a suggested tag. It's just that the word suggested, it's, uh, it's part of it. Okay? Um, and then we're going to see a bunch of blanks. And then let's go down to the ones that were automatically uh, confirmed. Right here, we got BP, and it's got a little tag that says Auto Confirm, and then we see Barnes & Nobles with a tag that says Auto Confirm. So we can actually see, uh, you know, depending on how the data was entered, again, you classify it by hand, you have an explicit rule, you got a suggested rule, and you get an Auto Confirm rule. That gives you a really kind of good idea of where you are. And you can uh, sort these, so I can sort them by description and kind of see all the Barnes & Nobles put together. See, I entered two by clicking on confirm and two were done automatically. I can um, click on rule 
actually I can't click on rule. I can only sort by date, description, and amount on the screen. So what I really wish uh, Intuit did at some point is uh, fix it so I can sort it by assigned and rule. Those things are still not available, unfortunately. You can also reverse automatically entered transactions. So for example, I'm gonna come here to the filters and I'm gonna click on auto add rule. When I filtered auto add rule is only gonna show me the ones that were automatically added. So what you can do is you can comfortably do a whole bunch of auto add rules, let QuickBooks do its thing, and then every once in a while come into the screen and take a look at the auto add rules. Look at the vendor name, look at the amount, and then you know, kind of decide at that point how you want to see uh, the information. Now, one of my little tiny pet peeves about this screen, something that I wish it had, is I don't have access to the original bank memo. That would be wonderful. So right now I see the actual sort of cleaned up uh, payee, but I don't see the, uh, the original bank memo. That would provide a lot of context for sort of monitoring this, um, it, but unfortunately it's just not available here. Uh, yet people from Intuit do watch these webinars and uh, every once in a while they'll, they'll you know, I'll, I'll make a good point and they'll say, yes, we'll work on that. And maybe in a few months when you watch this again, uh, this would be a obsolete comment and the memo will show right there. I would love to see the original memo on this screen so I can you know, get more context to make a decision on what I want to do.